couple of days ago I made a YouTube community post asking you what do you think how can we fix water maps now it's time to parse and read some of your comments and to engage in a new discussion about which of the three solutions might be best and to give some extra verbal explanation about what I think we can do with water uh, maps and with docks and fishing boats and so on in Age of Empires 4 let's make a great discussion so that maybe if we're lucky, the devs take a look at it and get some kind of great inspiration from it as well. GOHF. I want to see what people said about it. Look, what do you guys think is the best solution to this problem? In Age of Empires 4, going water is not an option, but a must to compete economically. You must go dock in feudal uh, in Boulder Bay, Ancient Spires, etc. I see three potential solutions to water. Juan. Making the fishing ship gathering rate worse. Expanding the scaling of your income with a dock at minute 130 is always going to be beating the expanding at 545, which the second TC offers you. Or a 10 minute market. Even if fishing gathering rate is dropped to say 75% of its current level. Now to preface, or to post this, uh, the game just now, uh, the Mongol player Spear Tower rushed me and he was able to shut down my dock. If every Civ could do that, even though the dock is extremely profitable, you would not be doing it. But only Mongol can kill your dock, which is why Mongol reigns supreme on every map, but especially on water map. Because they can make Spearman at one and a half times the rate for half the price as another player. So they're gonna always be winning the Spearman arms race. And because of defender's advantage, you can't do that with any other civilization. So dock always comes up. You're, you expand your economy from 130 onwards because you make the dock at one. You can make a TC at 515, so it can be done at 545 with some solid power building. So, and marketplaces with traders, maybe you can start doing that at 10 minutes. Right, so 130 ex income scaling is always gonna be better than 545 or 10 minutes. I think everyone can get that. So even if you reduce f fish gathering rate, you would still have 1.75 times the income scaling as someone on one town center. Right now, you've got 1.1 uh, 2.1 times the income scaling because every fishing boat is worth a deer gatherer on, on land. So you get 2.1 times the, ex the income scaling from 130 onwards. So everyone wants that. If you drop it to 1.75 times the income scaling, you would still want to do it because that's still more income. Unless you can stop it, but only Mongol can stop it. Okay. Option number two, make the dock feudal. This would put fish scaling, no pun intended, get it because they have more on par with a second town center in terms of timing, 545, and would have warships come out the same time as fishing boats. So now you need to choose, am I going to make a fishing boat or am I gonna make a warship? If you open with fishing boat, that's the greed. They open with a hulk, a galley, a dow, what have you, they kill your fishing boat. It leads to more risk in decision making and maybe it leads to you doing additional defensive expenditures. First, you have to go for warship in order to even be allowed to make a fishing boat. Once it gets to that point, if your opponent is actually just making a dock and nothing at all, you've suddenly got warships, your scaling is very slow. So now there's like a delayed kind of a delayed decision where you're not immediately forced to go for water and by the time you can go for it it's even nuanced rather than a no-brainer so now the first fish gathering maybe happens at seven minutes and i think it would be a big buff for abbasid dynasty because they can make that dock so cheaply so they can just sneak one in see if it works see if it pays off if it works make three four fishing boats and that's a nice little bonus but does this not make hogs even better not exactly because Let's say you're French, I'm English. Feudal age hits. I rush you with longbows. You made a dock. You died. You lose the game. Both of us made a dock. I make nothing else. You make a hulk. You win the waters. I longbow rush you. You lose. I make a galley from my dock. You make no dock or you make a dock and you make nothing out of it. You night rush me. I lose. So first I got a lock it down on land. Then I can sneak in a dock. And when I dare, I try to sneak in a couple of fishing boats. That seems like a really nuanced, and in fact, it's gonna make water 
very low priority by comparison. But eventually, five minutes in, no. Eight minutes in, maybe. 12 minutes in, possibly. 15 minutes in, likely. 25 minutes, mandatory. Because there's trading, uh, resources on land can get scarce, you can get gridlocked on land, you can get um, transport drops on your opponent with water, you can use Baochuan to control the land uh, with a dock, so you make like 1500 resource investment to get some water presence and now you can control the shores. But it's not like, all right, got to do my water build order, get lots of wood, I have to open dock and so on. So I think this is a really good uh, option. And we can talk more about balance from different civilizations, which one benefits from it more. Or you keep dock in dark ages, but you make it cost more, keeping in mind that resources are at their most scarce in the early game. Even just adding 50 or 100 resources to his cost would make it a lot harder to justify it while still having a decent feudal timing. It makes the window for a non-Mongol player to punish a dock um, much greater. So a TC costs 700 and produces 50 resources villagers and scouts for 60. And scout is a fighting unit, but soon it'll be worse because animation cancel is gonna get patched out of the game. A dock costs only 150, so it's less than a quarter of the cost of TC. But it's also a barracks, a stable, and a range, because it can make a galley, a demo ship, and a Bauchuan and a hulk. It produces the whole armada, of course a 150 resource TC, that's also a wing guard palace, it comes out at one minute game time, it's gonna be overpowered compared to a second town center. Keep dock in the dark ages, but make it cost more like 450 or 300 instead of 150 so which solution do you guys like the best one two or three so island maps are dumb now option two is the worst thing you've ever proposed i mean let's talk about no need to name call by the way i mean you didn't but you can you can have arguments why it's kind of meaningless to just say it's the dumbest thing ever um on what what would happen on islands is you would have to develop normally, go feudal, then make a dock. And the reason I still think it's good, because on an island map, you now have a choice of three choices. Fishing boat, transport ship, and try to sneak military past your opponent's first warship, which cannot be on the field yet. Right? You, know, you can put in a couple of knights, drop their mainland. Now you are actually fighting on land as well. Or you can open with fishing boats. So there's actually three options on warring islands in Archipelago. Like, yeah, sure, the first five minutes, you can literally not interact with each other, nor scout. And that's a downside. But maybe full water maps suck. Uh, but now you've got three options after that. So I'm looking at chat. I'm seeing a lot of option two, some option three. Very few option one, but a few as well. Option three sounds more balanced, it would affect less the gaming. Yeah, true, this is the more timid solution. Let's say if you make it cost 150 wood and 50 stone, or just 250 wood instead of 150 wood. Maybe that would already make it a lot of a steeper investment. I think two is the best. You can now have the same build order on every map, so that you don't have to be like, oh, it's water map, I need to open everything on wood. And I feel like this one might become a weird, um, might become a bit weird because I could see a meta happen where you'd still do your water opener, but only to make a barracks and then you make a couple of spears, then you make a dock. Or you do the same thing, you open with dock, but it takes a minute longer to make, but both are doing it because it was found out to be the best. So it just slows down the game one minute for no reason. Who wants the same build on every map? Who wants that? So you're writing in all caps again. <laughs> Yikes. I, I think you're writing in all caps maybe because you're afraid that my solutions are being listened to too much by Relic and you're afraid that it's going to ruin the game. So I understand that you feel passionately about it. I, uh, I don't blame you, but it's not needed to because i'm trying to listen to uh you think option two would ruin the game yeah. yeah i mean i think what ruined the game is that nobody wants to play water already so like i don't think it can be a lot worse than what it is now let's say very few people play on water already but there might be a fourth option 
If you have uh, an idea, you can let me know. It's a balance issue, though. It's not a Dark Age talk issue. But do you think it can be balanced, though? Like, without changing all the sifts on land in, er in order to fit the molds of water, why not address the very thing that makes water viable, dock? AoE2 had dark... Yeah, but come on. We cannot use AoE2 as an example. L yeah, we can... We cannot do AoE2 as an example. It's a different game. Plus, I can't talk about it. I've never played it. Well, why not? Well, we can't use Fantasy Empires from 1996 as an example either. I played that game. It was a turn-based battle strategy game. And there was water there as well. It would take two turns to go over water minimum, even if a province is next to you. And eight turns when it's all the way across the map. If you wanted to be the supreme ruler of Mystara, you had to engage in the test of wit, nerve and strategic guile. That's what the dungeon master said. It's kind of senseless to compare to different games. The issue is docks are too vulnerable for some sips compared to others. That is definitely part of the issue. I think a fourth solution could be, Orion, to uh, be your advocate, is that docks have a natural defense, just like town center. You can put fishing boats or villagers inside up to 10 and they can fire back. Now docks are a safe bastion so that the person that is losing water can still earn it back. That's, a, that's also possible. I typed that earlier, chat was going fast. Yeah, I think that's a good fourth solution. So what do you think? Leave your, leave your favorite solution in the comments to this video and on Twitch, let's do a poll. 